You know when you meet somebody who is angry or upset or highly emotional, the temptation is to give them a label. You want to say they are difficult or nasty or bad person or even they are stupid or an idiot. Now giving people a label like that limits your view of them and makes it even harder to relate to them. Instead of giving somebody a label, it's useful to start thinking of everything that is affecting them at the moment. Every person has a whole system as part of their life, and their system involves the people they live with, their parents, their children, their friends, the people they work with, their customers and clients all kinds of uh, colleagues, everybody that's part of their life. It also includes the things that they worry about, whether that's their money, where their next food is going to come from, what their health is like, how they feel, what's happening in their body. It also involves all of the things that have happened in their past. Different experiences that they have had with somebody in authority, like school teachers, other kind of teachers, parents, grandparents, uncles and aunties, all of these people have influenced and continue to influence them even if they have died. The influence still stays. And furthermore, when you think of systems, you also can see the future. So what somebody imagines that they are going to become, what their hopes and their dreams are for the future is part of their system and affects how they act today. And for some, this might be a very positive thing that gets them to work hard. For others, it might be a negative vision of the future, that there's no hope, they might be feeling hopeless. And that's affecting them as well. So when you meet anybody who is emotional, feeling strongly, angry, upset, worried, any of these feelings, be aware that there are many things that get them to feel this way. It's not just you that's causing this feeling, but many, many other things. And when you understand that, it can help you go to the next step. Thank you.